In today's video, you will learn video SEO showing you how to rank YouTube videos. There's little in this world more frustrating than putting your heart and soul into creating a video, working on a really great idea, bringing it to life and spending hours editing only for YouTube not to rank your video in search. I understand only too well how much goes into creating a video on YouTube. When I first started on YouTube, I had no idea how to get my videos showing higher in search or getting them recommended. This of course resulted in low views, very few subscribers, and it also felt really frustrating. The good news is though, by the end of this video, you're gonna have a lot more success ranking your videos, getting more views, and turning them into subscribers. I'm gonna break this down into a few easy steps for you, showing you how to rank your videos on YouTube fast. Before I do that though, please hit subscribe and the notification bell to join our growing community here on YouTube. Let's start with audience retention. This is so important to YouTube SEO, and what's important to YouTube needs to be important to you. Audience retention is getting people to watch most of your YouTube videos. This tells YouTube that whatever it is you're doing, you're doing it right. Because if people want to watch a lot of your content, then this tells YouTube that they're spending longer on the YouTube platform. And that's really exactly what YouTube wants. To get this audience retention though, you've got to follow a few key steps. The first 15 seconds of your video is the most important. I could say this a hundred times and it still won't be enough. My advice is to post it note it somewhere that you always look or save it as a reminder so that you never forget this when creating your video. I want you to see the difference that it makes for yourself though. This is when I didn't take this advice seriously. And this is when I did. In the first 15 seconds, you need to tell your audience what they will get from the video. A huge amount of tests and data have proved time and time again, if you don't grab your audience's attention in the first 15 seconds, then they're gone. You want to quickly follow it up with a slightly longer intro, and this is going to tell your audience how the video will benefit them and what problem they have that you're going to fix. This means showing people that you know how to do it and you provide proof of this in the video. So if I'm talking about how to rank YouTube videos, I need to show you an example of me doing this. So you've hooked people's attention in the first 15 seconds, providing them with how you will benefit them from the video and how you'll fix a problem that they currently have. Finally, you've provided them with the proof that you are the right person to show them what to do through credibility. These simple steps will give you a huge increase in audience retention, and it's easy to do. So you know how to get your audience watching your videos for longer. Well, how do you get them to start watching them and ranking better right at the start? There's a tool for YouTube that I highly recommend using. It's helped me a lot in the last six months, rank my videos higher and get more views and subscribers. This tool is called VidIQ. It's designed to improve your video SEO and a whole host of other amazing features. VidIQ is a brilliant tool for ranking your YouTube videos. It gives you some really important information which you need when you're actually searching for the right keywords to use in your video. So let's just take a quick look at this example. I've used a really general and uh, generic term here, which is camera. Now you would expect this to have a high search, but if you didn't know such things, then you can come over to the right hand side. This is vidIQ here, which is built into my YouTube search now, which is really handy having it on the right hand side. I can see the maximum views are 7.1 million. That's huge. 
my average views are 1.29 million for this search term here. I can also see that there's some really not very well known guy called Peter McKinnon, which has got three videos and he's the top channel in the camera search term here. But in all seriousness, what this is brilliant at doing is telling you if this keyword is going to be any good for you to use. So if I just scroll down, I can see this overall score section here. I can see that the volume for camera is 80, which is really high, but the competition is also high, which tells me that yes, there might be a lot of people searching it, but I probably would find it difficult to actually rank the video because there's so many people already have made videos around this. But let me give you a really good and successful example of how you could use it to find something good. I use the search term Canon EOS RP. I have two EOS RPs and I have lots of experience with this camera. So straight away, I wanted to make a video around these keywords. Now I can see that the maximum views is 495,000. It's considerably lower, but it's still a very good reach. Now I scroll down, the first thing I wanted to see was the overall score. And good news for me, the volume is 61, which is still very high. The competition, this is the best bit, is low, which means not many creators on YouTube have made videos around Canon EOS RP. So I thought, okay, this is really good. I'm gonna use these keywords and create a video around it. Now you can also take this a step further. You can start looking at the top related keywords to this. So you can make videos with these keywords if they're more successful, or you can start seeing that a lot of people want to know about a review for the Canon EOS RP, and this would be the right way to put the keywords for that because it's got 62 and that's a good rank and a good score. But this made me start thinking about how to create the keywords. I knew that my main keywords were gonna be Canon EOS RP, and that's gonna have a low competition and a high search. So if you just take a quick look, I've managed to rank this video in the last month at number two for this really good search term. So straight away, you can see how good vidIQ is at providing you with some really good information on keyword search. Now, this program also takes it a hell of a lot further. You get so much analytics and data on your YouTube uh, platform, which provides you with some really valuable information. The best thing about this tool is though, it's free. Yes, you do have paid accounts as well, but the free account for a lot of people will give you enough information and data, and you do have the overall score and this, C, uh, this keyword search, which is on the free account. So that's the good news there. Now, if you're wondering where to get this, what I'll do is I'll stick a link in the video so you can click on that after you've watched this video, and then you can sign up for a free account or a paid account, whatever's right for you. The last step I will show you on how to rank YouTube videos is watch time. YouTube values watch time as one of its most important ranking factors. So if someone spends longer watching your video than your main competitor's video, then this is good for you. There is a really cool way to do this though. You see, you can find the competitor's video which is ranking high for the search term that you want to use. And if you go ahead and make a video that's a little bit longer than their video, then you have a better chance of getting more watch time. As long as your content in your YouTube video follows the steps you carried out in audience retention. Having this added watch time tells YouTube that people using their platform prefer your video and watch it for longer. This is a great way to get your video ranking higher than theirs. These steps in the video have provided success for thousands of YouTubers, giving them more views, higher ranked videos, and of course, more subscribers. The way to guarantee success for yourself though, is to make sure you take action and start doing what you've learned today. Now, if you have any more tips that you've personally found that help you rank YouTube videos, then please share them with the community. You can do this by leaving a comment in the comment section of the video. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And whatever you do for the rest of your day, make sure it's a good one and I'll see you in the next video.